What's up everyone? My name's Slug Mug, and welcome to my channel, where I like to cover the game Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And in today's video, we're going to begin what will be an installation of roster reviews. So, guys, without any further ado, come on down to the holo tables and let's get started. Welcome back, everyone. So, in today's roster review, we're going to be going over Tadko Vladko. So, Tadko Vladko usually comes and uh, joins in during my streams. He's a 1.6 million GP. He's currently with the guild BG Skywalkers. And he had quit the game for about four years. And he's just recently getting back into it trying to climb in arena in uh, the fleet and just trying to build better teams in the heroic sith raid his current farming goals are getting tals in he's working towards his Django to complete his bounty hunters and trying to get chewbacca unlocked and he's also trying to get wicket to uh, unlock c3po one of his big focuses is trying to unlock jedi knight revit so right now whenever he has any spare energy he He's going to try and farm up Jolie Bindo and Bastila Sean. Now, Tadko is currently farming with his Cantina Energy, Kylo Ren Unmasked, but not to form a First Order team. He says it's more to focus on his ship, the TIE Silencer, for a uh, better rank in uh, the fleet arena. And speaking of fleet, using his energy, he's going for Shock T. He wants to form some Shock clones and hope to unlock General Anakin Skywalker in the future. When he has spare energy, he will focus on Jedi Knight Anakin's ship, the ETA-2 Starfighter. And when he has a good day with his energy, he's going to focus on Jolie Bindo again and Bastila Shan. So it seems to me like Jedi Knight Revan is a priority for him. On to the stores. He's currently farming from the guild store gear and log race shards whenever he decides to show up on the rare occasions. From the fleet arena, he goes for General Grievous and Zeta Mats. He farms gear mainly from the Get Store, but he's considering switching over to Capital Ships and Hermit Yoda. And finally, for the GAC, Shard, and Conquest stores, he mainly strictly goes for gear farming. So here is Tatko's roster, and what I like to do is go a little bit more in that sorting by faction. So we're going to start with the bounty hunters. So he has four at seven stars, that being Boba, IG, Boss, and Cad Bane. And he's looking for that seventh star on Django. And right away, my biggest recommendation for this team will be put that leadership Zeta on Bosk. The main reason is it literally turns your bounty hunters into a semi-trash team into actually a decent team and a second recommendation for them i would definitely have for you is bringing ig bosk and cad bane all the way to gear 11 because you're gonna want to unlock the hans millennium falcon and also i mean if you have them all at gear 11 it's gonna help you into uh, beating the chewbacca event which you obviously need to navigate uh, the milf now for your clone troopers i see you have rex and fives clone sergeant is okay but he has kind of fallen out of favor in the clone trooper faction so the big pieces that you're missing here are echo and arc trooper and i know for your fleet energy in the store uh, for your fleet store farming that you have that dedicated to grievous and zeta mats echo does pop in there quite often so if you can spare the zeta mats which do go for 2000 uh current so if you can pause on those Zeta mats for now and try to obtain them through a different channel, then that would really help you have your clones ready. So that would be my recommendation for uh, your clones. So let's go straight to Empire. And your main three are the ones that I do recommend. And they're also part of your arena. So you have a Relic 5 Vader, which is amazing at your GP. You have Emperor Palpatine with his leadership Zeta. And 
and Grand Admiral Thrawn, which is your uh, capital ship pilot. Uh, word of advice on Thrawn, if you put his ebb and flow Zeta on, he actually helps the entire Empire team. So you might want to consider that. But I also realized that with a few Zetas that I recommended already and a few more I have in store for you, it, it might not that be that obvious because I know it's, uh, it's tough to accumulate those 20 mats when you're first starting out. Maybe look further down the road at um, putting a few more uh, gear on Grand Moff Tarkin, just in case you need another dark side uh, capital ship to use, because his is pretty good if you have the right fleet at uh, the earlier stages of the game. And our furry little friend, the Ewoks, you have uh, only Wicket missing, which you said you were farming daily with your energy. So of course your leader is gonna be Chief Chirpa. And I know you said you wanted to keep them at year 9 for the C3PO event. It's it's doable that year level. The only thing is if you want to achieve it at year 9, you're probably going to want to invest in one Zeta, which is Chief Chirpa's leadership. If you can do it without, then all the power. But I remember doing the event and um, I had a hard time at uh, at that lower gear level without the Zeta. So just be be on the lookout. If if ever you're finding it too difficult, and even with good RNG, you're still not beating it, then just make sure you have uh, a, a Zeta available for for his leadership. And first order, you have Captain Phasma and first order Tie Pilot. Uh, you're going to get Kylo Ren unmasked very soon because that's your main farm with your cantina energy. And I know you said you didn't want to work on your first order, but I would highly suggest if you can at least get two more characters. And the ones I would suggest would be go for the original Kylo Ren and first order officer. Officer, I recommend him just because he's a lot easier to obtain. He can be found in, in one of the stores that you're currently only farming gear with. And the reason you want your full First Order team is you're going to want to unlock BB-8, who makes uh, the Resistance faction so much better. And also, where I'm getting at with that is if you have a Jedi Training Ray, then you're able to um, get some pretty nice damage in, in Phase 1 of the Heroic Sith Ray. So just think it out. You don't have to act on it right away. But uh, First Order, if, if you can maybe have a backup plan and try and... Uh, unlock some resources to at least have your your main five for for that bb8 unlock and your galactic republic so your main four that usually go in your traditional uh, gr team is hadme as your leader ahsoka tano jedi knight anakin and general kenobi on top of that you're going to want to add a c3po so that's the best lineup for a good Galactic Republic team. But in the meanwhile, Rex is pretty much plug and play and you already have him G12, so that's not a bad option. Grandmaster Yoda, another fantastic option for any Jedi team or as a plug and play on a Galactic Republic team. The only thing is you're gonna want his battle meditation. Uh, Zeta is uh, his uh, unique, but that's probably when you have a Jedi Knight Revan team ready to go. So that's not an immediate focus, but just one that you need to be uh, weary of when uh, when you really start going for uh, a good Jedi team. Your Geonosians, those pesky bugs, I see are looking pretty good. So you have uh, the Queen's Will Zeta on Geonosian Brood Alpha, which is the one you want if you are to pick. Uh, out of the two that she has. And Geonosian Spy at gear 11. And also Spy, along with uh, Soldier and Sunfac, have a very, very good trio of ships. So uh, when paired with either Thrawn's capital ship or Grievous, uh, they all work wonders. Their synergy with the ability to assist each other just make things very difficult for the opposing fleet. Uh, so if you want to invest 
invest in that. That's a good suggestion for your fleet. Uh, but there's always tons of options. Your Jedi are looking okay. Uh, you have that relic Ahsoka that we saw back in the Galactic Republic faction. And you have Bastila Shan currently looking at a five stars and uh, hoping to get her to seven stars. And you're working on Jolie Bindo. So really you're that much closer to a Jedi Knight Revan unlock. And who you're going to want to use with him will be Jedi Knight Revan, of course, as your leader. The only thing is he takes all three Zetas to be really good, unfortunately. In Arena, that is. Uh, you're going to want to bring Grandmaster Yoda. You need General Kenobi as your tank, Bastila Shan, and Hermit Yoda, which you're currently considering uh, farming with your Get tokens. I see that you're still trying to finish your Night Sisters. So you have Asajj, which in my opinion is the better leader of the two. I know Talia has a leadership, but we're not going to talk about hers. Uh, Mother Talzin has uh, the better, um, the second best leadership ability in your Night Sisters. And I know you mentioned Night Sister Initiate, but the truth is unless you have her really really well geared up she's not that good in the later stages of the game so you're starting five for night sisters in reality should be massage ventress mother talzin old daka which by the way her health pool just goes off the charts when you start getting um relics on her and the other two will be uh night sister Sp Spirit and MIA from your roster, the most important piece, I would say, Night Sister Zombie. So she's your tank, and she's what makes that Night Sister team so annoying because she'll constantly taunt and she'll revive. So if you can get her lightning fast, she's just gonna keep uh, spawning and taunting and uh, really makes life difficult for. Uh, for your opponent, especially when you place them on defense in a, in a GAC. Now for your Old Republic, that's where I'm really gonna make you work. And I'm hoping you're open to this because I know a big goal of yours is to finally unlock Jedi Knight Revan. And so far from the OR, you only have Bastila Shan. Uh, you're currently working on Jolie as well, but you might want to consider finding room for Mission Vow, Zalbar, and T3M4 because you do need all five at seven stars to unlock uh, Jedi Knight Revan. And he's actually not very hard to obtain. Uh, you don't need a ridiculous gear requirement. Now, on the flip side, if you want to go for Darth Revan, you need Karth Onassi, Bastila Shan Fallen, HK-47, Pandarus Ordo, and Juhani. So I'm going to give you another farm in the Squad Arena Storm, that being HK-47. Just if you want to hope uh, to unlock Darth Revan, you might as well get a head start because it's going to be real easy for you to get him to seven stars and that's really when you start seeing a difference in arena once you have one of the two revens they open up so many doors for you so think about that i know it's it's a bit steep but the investment really if you think about it aside from the character shards you're not looking at a ludicrous uh gearing or even zetas you don't really need any zetas unless uh, maybe Carthonassi's leadership, which uh, just enhances your Old Republic team. But I'll leave that with you. If you want to work on them, then great. If you want to go another route, then uh, I still have other suggestions in store for you. Now your Rebels I like. I see you have CLS, he's a gear 12, and I see lots of gear 11s, including the, the, the Red Brothers, uh, Wedge and Biggs. You said you're going for Chewbacca. So we're currently working on your bounty hunters and you're looking to get uh, C-3PO unlocked as well through Ewoks. Some Zetas I'll recommend for the Rebel faction are 
at Han Solo's because it just makes him double tap each hit. And when you mod him correctly, boy does he ever hit hard. And CLS, finally, you just need it binds all things. So you don't even need his leadership Zeta for him to run an effective rebel team. Now I'm going to talk a bit about resistance. So the key component that you're missing, as I previously discussed, is Jedi training Ray. So that's why you need your five first orders to unlock her. And it's actually the funnest event I've done from, uh, uh, from all the journey guides. I found anyways, it might be a personal opinion, but I, I found it quite fun. And to get Jedi training Ray, you need your Ray scavenger, which you already have seven stars. You need Finn, you have a couple missing to complete him. You need the two vets, veteran Han, veteran Chewie, and you need BB-8. And the reason I suggest resistance is because that's going to be your uh, phase one team in the heroic Sith raid. So your starting five are going to be Jedi training Rey. She's the only Zeta that you need her leadership. It's going to consist of scavenger Rey. Uh, you're going to need BB-8, R2-D2, and finally resistance trooper. So that's a very good phase one team for uh, the heroic Sith rays. Now for rogue one, I'm not going to spend too much time on their faction, but they're good for for a couple reasons. Uh, one is they have two amazing ships that help complement a Millennium Falcon Akbar fleet. And those two ships are both U-Wings. So Bistan's U-Wing, which is piloted by the man himself, and Scarif Rebel Pathfinder. And you also have Cassian Andor's U-Wing, who is needed with uh, himself Jin and K2SO. But one big piece you're missing from your Rogue One team is Pow. And it, not for uh, a Rogue One team, but he's actually a really good P3 team for Heroic Sith Raid under a check mix team. So what that is, is a CLS lead with Han Solo. You need Pow, Death Trooper, and you can finish that team off with either Chiru or Chewbacca. And Pav is a really easy farm. He can actually be found in the cantina store. And as you get in the later game, you'll you'll see he's a vital member of that Mon Mothma team that uh, is really good for all sorts of uh, game events. And your separatist, you have your buff, Django that you're working on, Asajj, and Newt Gunray. You said you were currently farming for General Grievous. Uh, the only thing with that is you're missing three characters that go into that General Grievous droid lineup, uh, which is good that you're passively farming him. So you said that you're farming him from the fleet store. He's also readily available in uh, that shard shop, but I understand that there's so much good gear in there and I know uh, to get some Grievous shards from that shop is uh, a lot of that currency that uh, that is so useful for gear. So I completely understand Understand that if you'd uh, reserve uh, his uh, shards for uh, whenever he shows up in the fleet. And finally, the last faction we'll review is your Sith. So here you have your Darth Vader, Darth Nihilus, very good character. I see your guild probably is not getting a lot of Treya shards, but that's uh, at a later stage. I mean, once you're able to unlock Treya, you're going to open yet another window. But what you're going to want to consider when you get her, even at five stars, is uh, working towards Darth Scion because he is very good, especially against uh, bugs. So in territory wars, in GAC, he is the captain of that team. And what's so nice about it is if you have undergeared bugs, you can just bring the trio and it, it should be enough to uh, wipe them out. Last but not least, your fleet arena. And you can keep running what you're running for now, but if you ever plan on climbing any higher, I would definitely say start considering the get store for uh, either the negotiator or the malevolence. And here for the best supporting cast, the negotiator would be your best option because it's going to comprise of Jedi Knight Anakin's starfighter. You already have Ahsoka. You're going to want 
5's Umbaran Starfighter. Uh, Clone Sergeant I really like because he's a tank that you can uh, haul in and it just really helps take away uh, from uh, your big damage dealers because he taunts right away and of course the Hounds too which you're currently farming as well and mind you the best tank for sure in the game arguably the best ship in the game so once you have that lineup complemented piloted by your negotiator i think you're really gonna see a big difference in your climb for fleet arena so taco i really hope you found this video informative i hope it gave you uh, a few paths to follow and uh, i hope that you're gonna take in from it and that uh, you, it can help you achieve some of your goals. Now, if anyone else wants a roster review done, by all means, you can contact me on my Discord. My tag is 7475. Please, you can comment. I am more than receptive to feedback. If you have ideas on what you would like to see covered in this channel, please let me know in the comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I I would appreciate that. Other than that, guys, it's been really fun. I hope to see you again. I'm going to try to come up with at least one video a week, uh, maybe in the form of another roster review, or I'll review the comments and try to reply to everyone. And based on that, I might uh, take in some of your ideas for my next video. So guys, thanks again, and I'll see you all in the next one.